Okay, a context diagram. A context diagram is a way of a systems analyst, and let's face it, this system, you are the systems analyst. You are consulting, you're pretty much, you are consulting to the business as to whether they should employ this system or not. Now, when we go through the system development cycle, which we'll talk about at a later time, but you're essentially doing that now, we go through a system called update. What? Love anagrams. Love anagrams. U stands for understanding the problem. The problem with Vanilla Cupcakery is they would like a website developed. Why? Because they would like more exposure, yada, yada, yada. And you provide a whole lot of reasons why they want a website. You then go to the planning phase, P. In the planning phase, we go down, we interview the participants. We also develop a feasibility analysis. We do a feasibility analysis. Can I just continue, please? Don't interrupt. All right. A good design tool, when you're going down and talking to the business owner, is to diagrammatically draw something that says, is this the system that you want? And that's best done using a context diagram. Now, the context diagram consists of three shapes. A circle, a square, and arrows that are labelled. <laughs> Okay, now the circle is, how's that? is the system. What is the information system? Website. Vanilla Cupcake website. Is there a way we can shorten that title? Vanilla Cupcakery website, BCC. Okay. All right, we now have the square, which is We now have external entities. Now, external entities, yeah. <laughs> External entities are those people who are kind of like a bit like participants that provide data to the system or are the recipients of data from the system. And so when you label an external entity, data flows to the website and possibly from the website back to the external entity. Now, I'm only going to give you one external entity because that's part of the task for you to develop it. Let me just assume that the external entity is the web designer. Would you agree? Yeah. Sorry, the, the writing's all out. So, the web designer. What information do they put into the information system? That is, the HTML code. They write the forms, they develop the website, they might animate some objects, etc. That is written along here. So just write the information that flows into the system from the external entity. What information system, what information goes back? You would write that here to the external entity. And so around the website information system, you might have a number of external entities that both send data to and receive data from the system. I would say that the owner would be another external entity. What information would he provide to the system and from the system? So a context diagram, if you think, let's think about it in terms of a context, the context is the whole snapshot. It's providing a visual diagram of the system in a quick snapshot without me having to spend 15 minutes talking about what the system does. That's what a context diagram is.